We're here at Amex 2013 today with Simeg Techberg, and I have Gary uh, with us from Simeg. And behind us, we have one of their winder, winder and brake calibration and monitoring systems. Would you be able to tell us a little bit about it, Gary? Uh, yeah, we, <clears throat> we basically have got set up here one of our uh, brake calibers, which is a fail safe brake, spring applied hydraulic release. Uh, some of the test gear we've got on the unit at the moment is just to show brake disc run out but also to show what the brakes are doing in terms of uh, the spring application and, and the release time. Um, this is one of our workshop test units that we used for overhaul of caliber brakes uh, and we can see the various plot on the computer in terms of uh, the uh, disc run out, brake application time, brake release time and we can look at preventative maintenance for, uh, for that function. Can you tell me what sort of applications this is being used at? What sort of mine sites and, and vehicles and things like that it's being used on? It can be used on uh, friction winders or Kobe winders and drum winders um, and, and basically shaft, shaft winders, vertical winders or for drift winders. Uh, so we basically go in and do winder inspections and audits and provide detailed reports to our clients. And are you finding with the downturn at the moment, I mean, miners are probably pushing out their maintenance schedules a little bit further. Are you finding that? Yeah, they are. They're, they're certainly pushing them out and they're trying to do some of it themselves. Um, only we find that the level of uh, inspections that we provide uh, are probably exceed what they're able to do on site. And largely that's because we've got the test equipment that we've developed uh, to go in and do those functions for them. And that test equipment, that's behind us. Can you walk us through it? It is. Um, with uh, the display on the screen at the moment, it's showing uh, the, the brake disc run out, which will effectively show them what sort of warp they have in the disc itself. So at some point, the, uh, the distortion of the disc or the, or the misalignment of the disc is going to start to affect the braking uh, performance. And uh, then we're able to go in and correct that, whether there's enough brake disc thickness on that for, for that to be done uh, with the in, in, in situ machining. So Simeg also does winder upgrades. Can you tell me a little bit about that process and that service? Yes, um, there are a lot of winders in this country that currently don't meet the, the current reg regulations and standards, and some of those being 61508, MDG 2005 and MDG 33. Um, they're fairly stringent regulations and rules that are in place these days and most of the winders that were commissioned some 10 and 20 and 30 years ago uh, don't comply. Um, so what we, what we do is we go in and do a gap analysis and work out you know, what does or does not comply and look at an upgrade based on that. But also a lot of the braking systems that were in place previously, technology's come a long way and we now can put an upgraded brake system or an upgraded electrical automation system onto existing winders. Thank you.